Good morning, sixth graders. Happy Wednesday, January 20th. I'm quickly going to um, go over what the expectation is for today, even though I am not live teaching. So it's pretty quick. Um, again, you need to check the task sheet. Hopefully you are checking the task sheet and you did because I think I haven't posted it yet, but the only place I'm going to post this video for you to see it is on the task sheet. So you're already what you, doing what you need to do. Okay. Um, it's going to be quick. It's going to be short and we're going to go over some student samples tomorrow. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about paying attention to audience in your persuasive writing. All right. Okay. So it is really important to be when you're being trying to be persuasive that you do in your back pocket or the back of your mind have the uh, uh, the attention to the audience and who you're trying to sell and kind of really get to buy in. That will overall make you be a more persuasive writer if you always have kind of like those audience appeals in the back of your mind. Okay, so again, pay attention to the audience. To be persuasive, we must always have our target audience in mind. What tone will you use and what strategies of appeal will you use? Okay, so we're just going to practice today. So what you are going to do is the goal. You're going to do it twice. You're trying to convince your parents to let you have a sleepover on a school night versus trying to convince your friend to have a sleepover on a school night. And maybe some of you are like, I won't need to convince my friend. Okay, maybe you have a big math test tomorrow, Minnesota studies test. Let's just say your friend does not want to have, they're kind of cautious, a little hesitant on having a sleepover on the school night. This should not be the same, okay? Your audience is different. You're trying to persuade two different people here, all right? This should not be the same responses. Really take your time with this. What reasons will you give? What tone will you do, use? Um, what persuasive appeals will you use, all right? This was assigned you on Google Classroom titled number one, persuasive writing, attention to audience. Um, if you're still hanging with me, which you should be because it's only been two minutes and you should still be watching this crazy good video, <laughs> I will update the leaderboard. And Ernie found his ball. He is here with me today. Hey. Hey. Say hi. Okay. All right. So the leaderboard, here we go. All teams were able to find the letter I. Okay, so good job. All teams will um, receive two points. Captains, if you're watching this, the word for I is in, as in I in, like you're going inside something. So I in, the word for I is in. I'm just going to... My type A self really needs to make the colors match. All right. So the word is I. Um, I will update the points. Give me one moment. Oh, that's not the right color. All right. So drum, drum roll, please. As I... Oh, that's not what I want. I'm not a good multitasker. Sorry, my video is going downhill from here. Okay. So all of you for finding that letter, all teams, will now get two additional points. So that should put you at 14, 16, 17, 15. All right, there you are. All right. However, there was only one team that technically came in first. I did leave a hint on the clue. There were two clues at Sitzer Park. There were two. So the Bucking Broncos were able to find the other letter, which was S. Bucking Broncos, I will touch base with you and give you um, that word later today through your Google Hangout, okay? I will give you that word through your Google Hangout. So you get, earn four additional points, which puts you at 21. And all the other teams, I'm gonna say you tied for last because you didn't read the clue and you forgot one of them. And this doesn't count on the person 
the person who went to get the clue shouldn't feel bad by this. There was a whole team of 20 or more of you that could have read the clue and been like, wait, there's a hint. It says there's two, okay? So I'm going to give one additional point, one additional point, and one additional point, okay? Um, be watching. I do release those clues at the end of the day, okay? Um, so be watching, be reading those emails. Have a fantastic day. I will see you live tomorrow. Bye.